Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving second order linear differential equations, which equal some function of x. Now in the first video in this series, I showed you that the general solution was of the form y equals the complementary function plus the particular integral, cf plus pi for short. And in this video, what we're going to be looking at is how we handle questions where the function of x, f of x, equals a quadratic function. So we've got this example here. Find the general solution to d2y by dx squared plus 2 times dy by dx minus 3y equals 5x squared. And we're given that the complementary function is ae to the power minus 3x plus be to the power x. And if you're unsure how I got this result, then all you've got to do is just click on this link here and it will take you back to the video where we derived this complementary function. Okay, so on that basis, we need to start off then with our particular integral. So we'll just write this as pi, particular integral. And when we're dealing with quadratic types, then our particular integral takes on the form let y equal a constant, I'm going to choose lambda, times x squared, then plus another constant, let's say mu, times x, and then plus another constant, which I'm going to call alpha. Up to you, though, what you choose as constants, as long as they're not the same constants as you've got here. And in the usual way, if you've been watching the other videos in this series, we now differentiate. We find out what dy by dx is, and then we go on to work out what d2y by dx squared is. Well, dy by dx is going to be 2 lambda x, okay, plus mu. And when it comes to working out our second differential, d2y, by dx squared, well, that's going to be just simply 2 lambda. And then what we do is we sub these three results into the original equation, which I'm going to call 1, sub into equation 1 up here. And if we do that, we've got d2y by dx squared, which is going to be 2 lambda, so we've got 2 lambda, and then plus 2 times dy by dx, so we've got 2 times all of 2 lambda x plus mu. And then minus 3y, so we've got minus 3 times all of this up here, so we've got lambda x squared plus mu x plus alpha. And this equals 5x squared. OK. Now, let's just expand this, grouping up all the different types of terms. So if we start with the x squared terms, I can see that we've got minus 3 lambda x squared. So we've got minus 3 lambda x squared. That's the only x squared term. Now if we look at the x terms, I can see that we've got 4 lambda x here, so we've got 4 lambda. I'm going to put this in a bracket and we'll put the x at the end. Any more x terms? Well, we've got this one down here, minus 3 times mu x, so that's going to be minus 3 mu. And if I put an x at the end, we've got all our x terms. Then we're left with the constant, so we've got 2 lambda here, so plus, and I'll put this in brackets as well, we've got 2 lambda, and then we've got 2 mu from this bracket, and then finally we've got minus 3 alpha, so minus 3 alpha, and that equals the 5x squared. OK, so we now need to start comparing coefficients. So let's compare the x squared coefficients. OK, let's just make that a bit clearer. x squared coefficients. So if we do that, 
we've got minus 3 lambda then, therefore minus 3 lambda equals 5. And if we divide through by minus 3, we therefore have lambda equals minus 5 thirds. OK, so that's that part then. So just come down here. We've got lambda. We could go for mu next if we look at the coefficients of x. So that's our next part. So if we compare the x coefficients, just put this down here. It's going to be a bit small because there's a lot to put on. OK, so we've got 4 lambda. So 4 multiplied by lambda, which is minus 5 thirds. And then we've got minus 3 mu. And we can see that equals 0. We've got no x coefficients over here. So if we rearrange this for mu, you should find that mu turns out to equal minus 20 over 9. 20 ninths, minus 20 ninths there. Now that we've got lambda and mu, we just need to go on and try and figure out what alpha is. And to do this, we compare the constants here. So let's just write a short intro, compare the constants. And when we're looking at this then, We've got 2 lambda plus 2 mu minus 3 alpha then must equal 0. So if we put in our values for that, we've got 2 lambda, 2 multiplied by lambda being minus 5 thirds. And then we've got plus 2 mu, so that's plus 2 times minus 20 over 9. And then minus 3 alpha and that's going to equal 0. And if you work this out for alpha, you should find that you get alpha equals minus 70 over 27. OK, so now that we've got all our values, we can write down what our particular integral is. Therefore, the particular integral is essentially lambda x squared, so that's minus 5 thirds x squared. And then we've got mu x, so that's going to be minus 20 ninths of x. And then plus alpha, so we've got minus 70 over 27. OK, so that's our particular integral. And it just means then our general solution, just put that in, general solution is going to be y equals the complementary function a e to the power minus 3x plus b e to the power x and then plus our particular integral up here. So that's minus 5 thirds x squared minus 20 ninths x and then minus 70 over 27. Alright, so hope uh, you've got that and uh, this is how we handle quadratic functions by using this style of particular integral. Now if you're following others in this series, I've got uh, other tutorials where f of x is a constant, where it's a linear function, exponential function and trig function. Do check those videos out and uh, I hope you'll find them useful. Okay?